Hello, welcome back to Armchair Armory, and it has finished at the Emirates Stadium. Well, I say it's finished, but it finished about an hour ago now, I think. Um, it finished at the Emirates Stadium, Arsenal 3, Liverpool 1. <laughs> and uh, it's going to be one of those days again where I say, well, well, well. I did not expect that. I did not expect that at all. Um <sighs> Yeah, I mean, I think overall we played we played pretty well. I think we we handled um, Liverpool for the most part quite well. Um, I can't really think of anything that was bad as such, but yeah, like I, th I thought we I th it was it was definitely unexpected from my point of view. Like I really didn't think that we were gonna that we were gonna win this game. The most I could hope for was a draw, and I felt that from very early on in the game it looked like we were the better team uh you know on on sky sports the pundits were saying oh it just it, i think no it wasn't even the pundits i think klopp himself said it just wasn't our day today um you could argue that a lot of uh decisions refereeing decisions went against um went against um klopp and went against liverpool it's it's very easy to say that but um yeah, I, I I don't know. I don't think I don't think that that was that was too there was too much truth there. Sorry, I took off my headphones because I thought I could. I've got a new setup and I'm uh, still it's having TV issues, so I'm just making sure that I can't hear myself talking coming out of the speakers. No, I can't. So yeah, um, pretty crazy overall, and yeah, there's a pretty decent performance. I thought that. Uh, we thoroughly deserve to win the game. I think, you know, one of the goals that we got in particular was a little bit fortunate, but um, I think overall, I think we deserved it. The first goal from Saka was coming 10, 15 minutes into the game. It felt like we were on top. Eventually, Havertz breaks free, takes a shot. He started up top today. Gabriel Jesus missed, missed out due to injury, uh, which I'll come on to in a minute. Um, the whole injury crisis that we've got at Arsenal at the moment but yeah so comes off of Alisson fort a fortunate drop to Saka who knocks it into the open goal 1-0 we're looking comfortable on the stroke of half time Trent Alexander-Arnold Arnold, who I didn't think was going to play but he did play pings the ball over Luis Diaz gets the better of get, uh, Saliba um Raya comes for it. There seems to be a miscommunication and the ball just, and I think it came off of Gabriel and the ball just kind of trickles into the net. And uh, it, it was it was kind of against the run of play because at that point, Liverpool hadn't had any shots on target whatsoever. And, you know, the one sort of attack on their goal ends up being scored by one of our players. And we kind of go in, you know, it looked like, you know, the the what's the word the um the momentum had got had shifted and it felt like our players heads had gone down and this has happened many times before even before the days of Arteta you know we concede in a very stupid way normally at, at just before half time and then all you know then second half we're punished and we we end up losing or something like that and I could just see this happening again because we went off with our heads down it looked like we we'd lost the game we were behaving like we'd lost the game, even though it was half time. And then, yeah, and then we come out. First 10, 15 minutes, Liverpool were on top. They didn't really have much, much, um, much joy, to be honest. I thought, apart from that, go the goal we conceded, I thought the defence played very well. I thought Raya, Raya played very well. And then, um, again, a stroke of fortune. Ball pinged over by Gabriel. Bounces in front of Van Dijk. Uh, who leaves it for Alisson. Alisson mistimes it. It ends up back with Martinelli, who just slots it home for an open goal. And we're, and somehow we're 2-1 up after quite a lot of um, progressive forward play from Liverpool in the, in the period of the game before that. So we're now winning. And I'd probably say deservedly winning because even though Liverpool had, had been on top, we weren't like totally battered. I think we still were... We were we were doing pretty well on the counter attack, and we were we were doing pretty well getting into 
getting we were getting we were getting ourselves into good good spaces but just not taking our chances so after this we find ourselves two one up and at this point it's like yeah this is going to be a, a very nervy last 15 20 minutes which it was until the 92nd minute when Trossard at this point who had come on from Martinelli was put through on the left hand side and uh put it through Allison's leg legs and um yeah game over there was still still plenty of time for Liverpool to score at least one more goal but I think by that point the game was stuck but you always know that when it gets to the 90th minute even unless it's like really early in the 90th minute so let's say for example Trossard scored in the 87th minute and then somebody else Liverpool Liverpool player scored scores in the 93rd minute that's where it's more squeaky bum time but when you're like halfway through or kind of you know quarter of the way through added time and the other team with the advantage scores it's more difficult to try and go and do something so by that point it petered out and we win we won so you know we finished the game now two points behind Liverpool who still uh, remain top of the league with Man City playing Brentford tomorrow at the GTEC Community Stadium I think to be honest, I've sort of reserved myself to the fact that City are probably going to win that game and then there will be two points between us, City and Liverpool. We've got West Ham next Sunday in the 2pm kickoff. And I think it's all, Arteta said it after the game, it's all about momentum now. And I think, um, I'm not going to sit here and say, I, th I think we are in, we are in back in the title race, but I wouldn't necessarily say that, yeah, this is proof now that we're going to win the league. Um, I think it was a game we had to win and we did and that was the most important thing I, I did leading into the game I was having a haircut earlier on and in the Barbers Man United's game was on and uh, I noticed how United fans now think that they're they're back on top because they won two games in a row but that's another story um, and I was sitting there thinking I was thinking maybe 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 we might do it we might do it today and as I said in the preview the um the footballing gods normally work in your favor if you've played if you play a team th once twice in the league and once in a cup competition normally at least one of those you're going to win and if i had to choose one to win it would probably i mean no disrespect to the fa cup i love the fa cup but if i was going to choose a, a, a liver one of those free fixtures to win it would probably have been one in the league ideally anfield but yeah the one in one at the emirates is is good enough for me uh, and it again blows this title race wide open and it's just a, it's just a matter of time now there's plenty of football to be played and you know it's not over yet it just means that we're not out of it despite you know the meltdown par partially from myself as well but a lot of people in the Arsenal fan base melting down when we lost those two games uh, to West Ham and Fulham uh, people were calling for the manager's head and you know he somehow outclassed this is this is Klopp's last game against Arsenal before he leaves at the end of the season and he's lost and um, I think we won that midfield battle and that was what was the most most important thing and I'm not I, I don't know if I'd go as far as to say that Arteta out Matt, like, you know out coached Klopp but I think that on this day he got the better of him so um, so yeah overall pretty good but yeah the injury crisis so Saka went off injured, replaced by Reese Nelson um, around the 80th minute, something like that. Zinchenko went off at half time, was substituted by Kivior um, at the start of the second half. And uh, yeah, it seems to be getting pretty bad at the moment. You know, Partey had, Partey had a setback before the game. Um, I think on Friday we heard that Partey is going to be out for potentially a few more weeks maybe days maybe weeks we don't know yet but he's had another injury set setback which is you know now knocking on the door of the idea that we have to move on from Thomas Partey I'm still 50 50 on it I'm probably I'd probably say I'm now more 55 45 um than I was a week ago because yeah we've paid a lot of money for him he's on a lot of money wages wise and you know he's barely played this season and I, I don't necessarily think it was a risk to keep him because he played 33 games last season and uh 
I think I don't think you go into the season thinking, oh well, this person might get injured. You might you end up thinking, oh yeah, this person's turned a corner and now he's gonna get fit. So yeah, it's it's a shame. And then Gabriel Jesus didn't appear in the squad at all today. That's another worry. And I think, you know, if we can do something special in this season with the injury issues we've had, it's like even more of a incredible feat to do something like this against, you know, Liverpool who have taken Man City to the wire a few times and they've got this whole kind of sentimental thing with Klopp leaving at the end of the season, City being the beast that they are. If we if we somehow manage to win the league, which I don't think we will, but if we somehow manage to win the league, it will be something, it will be something spectacular. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm pleased. It's 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 always nice when you win unexpectedly, <laughs> put it that way. Because I thought that the momentum was with Liverpool, and I thought Liverpool were gonna were not ride all over us. I thought it was going to be a close game, but I thought Liverpool would just edge it, or we'd we'd only be able to muster a draw. But I think overall, we were well. I mean, even though the goal, the goal, this particularly the second goal we scored was fortunate. I think um, overall, I think we deserved it. I think that's all I've got to say. Um, special mention goes out to Jorginho. Jorginho started today instead of Smith Rowe. Um, was the one was the uh, the change in midfield, and I thought he was. I, he definitely deserved the man of the match uh, or the player of the match. Where fuck political correctness, um, the man of the match um, performance. He he was definitely my pick of the bunch. Like. I think if it if he wasn't there, and we and we had and no disrespect to Smith Rowe, I feel like the midfield would have been a bit more hostile. I felt like every time Jorginho got the ball, he was like, you know, calm as anything. Um, I, as I said, I thought the defenders played well. I thought Kivior came on. I was very worried when Kivior came on in the in the at the start of the second half, and I thought he played very well. Martinelli, Saka did what he did. I actually thought Havertz was all right. Yes, he isn't the most clinical, but um, I thought in terms of being a presence and his hold-up play was pretty good. You know, he was the reason why they went down to 10 men as well. Yeah, Canate got sent off. So all in all, I thought mostly everybody... I, yeah, I don't think anyone had a had a, had a below-par performance. Um, and yeah, it's always nice to be, beat Liverpool. Um, it's two years in a row now we've beaten them at home so the tides are changing as Bob Dylan once said right I'm going to leave it there I will be back again armchair armory wise to preview West Ham that will probably be later on next week so yeah until then take care and stay safe come on <laughs> <laughs>